gable, which used to have a chimney in it, but it doesn't have a chimney in it anymore. And John's busy taking cement render off. Now, if you, while he's working at it, keep at it, John. I'll okay. take it right down to the ground. Right. See how wet this whole wall is. Behind the cement render. Absolutely sopping wet. It's destroying the bricks. They're all shattered. And you can actually see down here there's um, several layers. There's actually you know new cement render which is wet. You can see that it's actually full of water. It's sopping wet. Um, you, you look at my hand. It's just just literally wet. Um, this. I don't know if you can see that mortar. My hand is just covered in mud. And you can see the it's drying on my hands in the sun. But that is just mud. So the house inside is it's got no chance. I mean that that wall, um, if we zoom out a bit, that, that wall, the level that we're working out there, if you work your way around, that's halfway up the inside wall. Um, this ground level here is too high anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so internally it explains why we've got a very wet house. And we've got, uh, we got damp sniffer dog here who's, uh, yeah, it's a bit wet and it's, uh, it's oil. It's really, really wet. Oh no, that's damp isn't it? Yeah, it is damp. Yeah, it's very wet damp. Um, so what are we going to do with this? Well, I think the, the, the only solution that, that there is for this is to get all of this cement render off, uh, let the, the mortar dry out, uh, and then eventually we are going to have to probably re-lime it because the brickwork is too badly disintegrated here to be doing too much with it. Um, so I think there's going to have to be some render goes back on to protect the bottom of the wall. But you can see that we've got a, a step, and this this step is building the ground level up around the house, mm. and it's actually going down again at the back. So we've got a great big sort of hump in the middle here, which is catching water. Yeah. This I actually have to video. I can't I can't believe it. This is we're taking render off the wall and this mortar is it's wet but this I've never seen before that is if you look at the, the stuff on there that is actually wet Dripping, dribbling mud. Never seen anything like it. That's absolutely <laughs> extraordinary. Um, this is the worst case I think I've ever seen of just cement render trapping moisture into a wall. It's mind boggling. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to take a wee bit more off this and just try and find out how far this problem goes because I think we'd now explain why the house is damp and cold um, so it's not a massive job to dry it out we've just got to get this darn stuff off uh, and then we've got to sort of make good inside but there's a little bit of work to do to design this and work out what we're going to do so we'll do a wee bit more digging um, we might hand over the damp sniffer dog it's a bit quiet today. You sniff a dog, yeah. Minimum wage came Yeah, minimum wage and all that. Well, she had a, a, a spell in the vets yesterday because she had the the doggy equivalent of a heart attack. She, she turned blue. Um, 
Yeah, she was not a happy bunny. How old is she? <coughs> she's 13 now. Wow. Um, but she's cool, she's happier now, she's relaxing. It was a bit of a scare. We did 90 mile an hour down the road to the vets, and uh, I reckon we had about a minute to spare. The vet to managed to <coughs> jab a load of stuff into her heart and get her heart going again, and she was all right. But uh, anyway, so wet wall. Um, so let's let's uh, take a bit more off. But that is just extraordinary. I've never seen water and mud on the end of a drill bit like that before. That's extraordinary. <laughs>